Jackie. Thanks, Jen. Um, on vaccines, uh, Amtrak, which we know is near and dear to the president's heart, uh, announced that they will potentially have to cut some long distance routes uh, because they don't have enough employees to operate when the federal mandate takes effect. And that's despite them reporting on the Hill today that 94% of their employees are vaccinated overall. Um, Amtrak got $66 billion from the infrastructure deal. Now they're talking about having to make cuts. Is this policy undermining the president's own legislation? Well, first I would say, and you touched on this, Jackie, but it's great news that 94% of Amtrak's workforce is vaccinated. That is an enormous percentage of their workforce, to state the obvious. They also still have uh, about a month uh, before the deadline for federal contractors on January 4th, or at least a couple of weeks, four weeks approximately. Uh, our, what, we, what we have conveyed to uh, employers is that post-deadline, we expect employers will follow their standard HR process. That means if for employees not in compliance, they'll go through education, counseling, accommodations, and enforcement. That would be what the process would be to play out. But of course, uh, these requirements, uh, we don't expect these requirements will cause disruptions to services that people depend on. There's some time to implement it. Uh, we're, of course, working with all federal contractors and, and federal employees and, and, uh, and parts of the federal government uh, to implement this moving forward. Have you noticed that as everything around you seems to decline, one thing still grows? It is the power of your rulers. None of their plans and directives have solved your problems or made your life better. The only result has been their increased control over you at the cost of your freedom. Do you know why? You gave them the power. 